after it was announced that AKA had been brutally murdered in Devon on the 10th of Feb, Notabelui lost his mind and went on a social media rant making damning accusations and calling out his list of so-called suspects from AKA's team who were with him in Devon. He revealed on DJ's Boost podcast that after his family saw the videos of his rants, they then decided to book him for an involuntary admission at a mental asylum. He had gotten into a mental breakdown and could not comprehend what had happened to Kinnan, whom he calls his friend, which is strange considering how he had bashed Kinnan multiple times on social media back in 2021 after AKA's fiancé Nelly Tembe's death. Nota described his experience at the mental asylum that he was attended to by four psychiatrists who he says cleared him. Nota went on to ask fans of AKA the magazine to let go and let God. He said, what you are seeing here is an exact example of a friend who is going through trauma and finding it hard to accept the finality of a loss of life. I will never speak to Keenan again. I will never hear his voice again. He says Keenan to me is not just a guy. Keenan is another me. He is my mirror. My measuring stick, a brother, someone I was competing against. DJ Spoo went on to call Nota out for his outbursts after he had viewed the CCTV footage of the murder taking place. Spoo said, you could have put lives in danger. Don't design, for example. He further warned Nota and said, how sure are you, Nota? It's dangerous to be an internet detective, Nota. Nota responded and said he had to bring light to his suspicions, especially in a country where there is no effective detective work. He then referenced Senzo Mayor's case, which remains open and unsolved, almost a decade later. He says during the time before Senzo was murdered, not far away was a spot where him and his music aspiring friends would meet up and a lot of song production and recordings were done in those nights spent with no security personnel hired while they all had expensive equipment and phones. He says right across the street from their spot, Senzo Mayor's X5 would be parked at a house with no fence. He says when they heard the story circulating about Senzo's death, we could not believe when we first heard that story that there could have been a break in. We did not speak about our suspicions. And I was like, you know what? This time, let's speak about our suspicions. Because if we leave any stone unturned in this regard, we might regret it like we are seeing with the case of Senzo and how it is being bangled right in front of our eyes. I mean, it's been a circus. Nota revealed that he also apologized to Don Design in posts on social media as he retracted the statements he had made about him. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to get all entertainment and celebrity gossip. See you on the next upload.